Okay, what we're talking about here today is the Garmin Striker Vivid 7CV Plus Transducer and its ice fishing capabilities only. Okay, so what we got here is the actual Garmin small portable bundle fishing kit, ice fishing kit. So this comes with the obviously the case, it comes with the battery and the transducer for ice fishing. Yes, this unit here does actually come with the transducer for summer fishing, which is a great kit to have everything all in one. So with this here again, like I said, you get the charger, you get everything for it, you get the body flown here, which is this thing right here, and the ice transducer. All right, so you get all this here, which is great. So what we're going to do here with this is just go over some of the basic functions for ice fishing only. Again, like I said earlier, I did get this for Christmas, so obviously haven't had a chance to use it in the summertime yet. Okay, so what we're going to do here is power it up with the button on the right hand side. Of course, it's going to bring you up to wherever you left off. I'll see what you flash and What we do is just quickly go out to the main screen. And of course, up here on the main screen, you got all your different functions. Obviously, you got your combo flasher. Now, this is the one I have set up, so you can set up this in any way you wish. I've got it set up with a flasher, traditional, and a scope, all three into one this way. You can set it up to your own desire, whether it's just flasher and a scope, or a flasher traditional, or whatever you prefer. These over here, obviously, are just your traditional and your split frequency. Most of this stuff, obviously, is used in the summertime with your transducer for summer. This is a combo kit which gives me everything. So, on this main screen, what we're going to do is the arrow check button right here right on the right hand side. And of course, this is going to bring you up to your flasher, your traditional, and over here in the far right, your A scope, as you can see here. All right, I love using the A scope, it's just awesome. It's just, it's whatever's happening now right underneath it is happening. So what we're going to do is just quickly go through some of the functions and then I'm going to show you how I've had this set up. And I've only used this for a month, but these are the things that I noticed that seem to work well. We're going to go into the menu button here with these three lines. It's your menu button. What we're going to do is scroll down to the traditional. And of course, wherever your blue is where you're at. And these buttons, you got to really press on them. So for range, I like doing it in manual. I want my range to be manual because I'm always moving around a lot on the ice. So of course, fishing lake trout, like I do a lot of, your depths are gonna change frequently and I prefer to have it on manual. So all you do is just scroll up and down to whatever, say if you're in 40 feet of water, I usually come up to at least 10 or better feet higher than what I'm actually in. So if I'm in 40, I would like to be up into a manual range of 55. So you do is scroll up into there, like that. Your frequency, obviously, you chirp. Your zoom, I like to leave it on auto. So, with this here, just back out again. Get your gain. That's another thing that I like being on in manual. And you gotta press these pretty hard to get them to work, which is good. You know, they're definitely waterproof and watertight. So, again, for me, and using it in lake trout ice fishing, doing it manually right now for what I am doing I'm gonna put some actual video footage of this being used at the things that I'm telling you I'm setting them at right now I'm finding that 60% in that area is working really well for getting good marks on, a, on the bottom even up into the water column at wherever you are it seems to be working really well it's picking up even on a smaller bait fish whether it be Cisco's uh, whitefish etc uh, what else we got here so beam width uh, you know, there's different beam widths. You can change this to whatever you want. Again, I'm still trying to get used to it. Right now, I've been running it at a 19 degree beam width. It seems to be working fine. You know, again, your um, your bottom cone angle will change, of course, with your depths and everything else. And of course, as you change this beam width as well. Uh, so let's go back over here. Have this sonar set up. So over here is a really important function as well. Your scroll speed. I like to keep mine on ultra when you are ice fishing because again, you want everything to be going by a little bit faster. Um, 
depth line, I got mine hidden. This over here is I keep it hidden. Noise reject, I keep mine turned off as well. All right, down to very low. I don't want to get a lot of noise in there, a lot of that. It looks like fuzz on the TV, so to speak. <laughs> You have to excuse some of these terminologies because I'm not u terribly used to uh, these um, terminologies on here. Uh, bottom search, I leave on auto, which is not a big deal. Obviously, you want to make sure you're definitely using the correct transducer type, which, of course, uh, it tells you on the ice fishing pack as to which one it is. Uh, let's go back out here. So that's pretty much mostly it. Now, I'm going to go back out to here. So what this allows you to do with your game being on manual, obviously you can change that around as to whatever you want, but again, like I said, I find that it works really well at about 60% roughly, in there, anywhere. Being at 19 degrees with about 40 feet of water right now, it's showing obviously an 18 foot cone at the bottom, but again, that will change depending on the actual depth of water you're in. And of course, then you got your A-scope on the side here, and here is your conditional. So obviously with your range, you can now manually go up, down, whatever you want. Because again, when you're moving around a lot and your water column is definitely changing quite a bit, you definitely want to be moving that around. You don't want to stay into the same one, obviously, because again, when this changes, right now we're back down to 16 instead of 19. That will change, obviously, so your cone angle at the bottom too, as to the width of it across. Uh, so far, you know, I've really, really found this to be an awesome unit. Yeah, I spent a little bit of money on both of these kits to get to where I wanted to be. But you got to remember, it is a bit cheaper than the Hummingbird, and I find it does very, very well. You know, I've seen it being used, the Hummingbird, and I've kind of used it before. <sighs> to me, I think it's just as equal quality and gets you exactly what you want to see on the bottom. Uh, let's go back out to the main screen. There is one thing I will show you when you come down here to your settings on the very bottom Right here. I'll just scroll down Settings check mark so with system check So what do we got your display? That's the one you want to go into now. This is all preference whether it be day or night so far I seem to prefer the daytime sonar versus the night. So what we'll do is we'll come down here and we'll check off night. Now what we're going to do is go back out to this. We'll check on this. People say they like this better when they're in the ice hut and then they're using a lot of lights. It does help cut down on the usage of the battery. But what I've been doing, and it seems to work quite well, come back down to settings. Uh, system, check, display, check. So what I do for myself, and it seems to work, is I actually use it on day. But what I do, again, where I have so much light in the ISOT, I will actually turn the percentage down to where I can actually still see it quite well. And I think let's try 60%. Oops, let's go back out. Let's get into here. So, you can see now it's a whole lot dimmer. But again, that will also help cut down on the usage of the battery itself. So that way, again, you get a lot more run time out of this. Yes, I am running a Markham Lithium in it. And that's, so far, it's been pretty good. I haven't had any complaints. So again, if you want to just increase the battery life on it, you can, absolutely, by just changing it. I still like running this because it's a lot brighter, and when you're going to see it in the video that I'm going to insert into this here as well, yeah, it's amazing. So that one's at 60%. You know, it depends on where you want to be, all right? Let's go back up to the main screen, come back to the settings. Let's go back over. System, uh, display, and I'm going to just change that to go up a little tiny bit more to 70 so again, compared to 100%, you know, I mean, out in the day, bright daylight, sunny day, yeah, you definitely don't want to keep it turned up high because unfortunately, if you don't, it's going to be very hard to see the screen. So let's get back out. So you can see it's going to get a bit brighter, right? Only by 10%. But again, it still allows you to be a little easier on the battery throughout the whole day. So far, I've been able to get a full, complete day, and that's probably anywhere from 10 to 12 hours, and still had lots of battery power left over. Again, using the lithium is 
really, really good, but also changing some settings to bring it down too makes a big difference in battery power. So that's just some of the basic functions of this here. There are definitely lots more you could use. You can do mapping, obviously, which you would use in the summertime. You can do waypoints uh, on this here. But what, again, I'm, I'm just trying to get used to this system as it is. So basically all I've been really focusing on is trying to get the flasher and all the other things related to that set up so that it actually works very well in finding fish. Most of the places I go, I already know where I'm actually going, so I can actually find the spots pretty much right away, even without using waypoints. So, yes, there are definitely lots of other functions in this, but obviously I'm not going to go into those because those will require summertime, obviously, usage. So, I hope you found this video, a very short video, uh, a little bit informative. Again, like I said, there's nothing out there that I could find. It gives you a rough idea and lets you know that absolutely you can buy this combo unit. You will need to buy both, of course, but uh, yeah, it's definitely worth the investment. Uh, you know, I think that uh, you will find this a very good product. Uh, Garmin is a good product to begin with. So, you know, hopefully this will uh, give you some rough idea of making a decision on purchasing this item because it was very tough for me to do because I actually had to visit in store, which is very far, far away from me. So, uh, hopefully you like this video. If you got any questions on the ice fishing aspect of it only, unfortunately that's all I'm familiar with right now. By all means, you can leave a comment below and I will try my best to answer it as best I can. Hope you find this informative. Thank you. Still there. He's a good mark. You can see by the thick, heavy line. A good mark on the side there on the A scope. There he is. There he is. He's on the rod. He's on the bait. He's on the bait. Got him. Not chasing it anymore at all now. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There he was. Let's see, we can, we can make him. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh, he's chasing it. Nope, he stops. That's what I was doing before, before I got the camera out. He was chasing like crazy and almost hitting it. So I figured to get the camera out and have a look because it was crazy. Here he comes. He's coming up. He's go. No. He starts, but then he stops.
He's taking another fall. Nope. <laughs> they love it on a fall, too, just as much. Out and have a look because it was crazy. Here he comes. He's coming up. He's go oh, no. He starts, but then he stops. He's taking another fall. Nope. <laughs> they love it on a fall too, just as much. struck him. He hit it. He hit it. Oops, here he comes. He's back again. Here he comes. He's coming for it. Oh, he struck it. I missed him. Shit. <laughs> Go back down. Let's see if I can catch up to him. Here he comes. He's coming again. No, no, no. Come on. Here he comes again. Okay. Now, there's a drought. He looks half decent. Just give it a little tiny wiggle on the bottom. Just a little wiggle. A little bit more. There you go. Okay, stop. He is belly to bottom. Because that thing sees out 11 feet in every direction, right? And he's not even picking up on that. Just bring it up off the bottom a little bit. There you go, like that. Down. As soon as you bring it up, it'll go right back down again. Is that him coming in? No. Yes, it is him in the back in the middle, though. Yeah. Unless there's two down there. That could be. It's hard to tell because they're right on the bottom. There he is again, right to the right side. Look, here he comes. Here he comes. He's coming in. Now don't move it. Just give it a little tiny. Just there, there. Stop, 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 stop. See how he looked at it? See, now there's your mark. That's what you want to see. See, that's the trout. Pull that. All right. Huh. Ah, shit. I can't turn it. I'm locked up. That's your trout. This time. That's what you want to see. Now, up again a little bit. He's still there. Look, see. Even though he's close to the bottom. Battery's dying in the camera. Sorry, right, I'll plug it into the. Here he is. See, that's him up there. Look, here he comes. Here he comes. See, see now how he's up off the bottom, probably about three feet. Yeah. Give it a little. No, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Just give it just a little tiny wiggle. Yeah, put it down. He's still there. See, that's the fish. Get up off the bottom a little bit. So he's moved outside now. Bring it up just a little bit more. Bring it up. And just as soon as you come up, put it back down again. Here he comes again. Yep, that's him. Yep, here he comes. Now don't move, don't move it. Oh, he's been, oh, 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 oh. You, got, you got him, you got him, you got him. Real, 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 real. Real, you got him. 